Hey guys, uh, welcome to my first uh, tutorial on Ubuntu. I'm going to show you how to install. This is going to be the very first, therefore I'm going to start it from the very beginning. Um, this is going to be a simple installation. I'm going to do it really quickly. It's actually going to take maybe seven, well, my video is going to take seven minutes, but the installation itself is going to take a little time. Uh, this is basing off that you know how to burn your ISO. You download it from Ubuntu.com and you know how to set the BIOS. I will have instructions on the right, on the info, on where to look for how to do those things. But for now, I'm basing off that you have uh, burned your ISO onto a CD and you have started your um, computer with the CD inside. And this is the first screen you'll see. Uh, you will just pick your language first. I picked English because that's what I speak. And the next part, we have five different options. We have the ability to try Ubuntu without making any changes. We can install Ubuntu check for any defects on the CD and test memory and of course boot from the first hard disk which is if you have Windows it'll boot from Windows I'm using a emulator because it'll be a lot harder to actually show this part of the video if I don't but this is basically it <coughs> we're gonna go ahead and press install Ubuntu I will skip this but I'll probably for fast forward in a few places so it can speed up the process or the tutorial Here we are, uh, the installation will begin right now. This little window will pop up and you basically just click on the options you want to set up. The first screen is the type of language. We have many to choose from. We have English, uh, Spanish, Dutch, etc. I'm going to go ahead and stick with English. We go right here in the bottom right and click forward. The next screen will be uh, setting up the clock. You can see right here it'll kinda estimate where in the time zone you are this is by your English, uh, your location, the language you picked a second ago and by your computer manufacturer it has a pretty good idea of where I am so go ahead and click forward you can of course pick from different places uh, New Zealand, the United States, of course you have many to choose from around the world is supported we have Eastern on the United States, we have Eastern, East India, Hawaii, etc. we're gonna go ahead and stick with Eastern and again press forward next window is the keyboard layout I have this one right here the USA it's suggested and it's always usually right if it's not if you have a laptop or desktop from outside of the United States you can choose your own or if you're used to a certain type of language you can choose your own uh, you can change it to any of the languages on this side and inside those languages we have um, little custom customizations such as the Macintosh computer we have left-handed we have international with dead keys and a bunch of others but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with the suggested I'm gonna go ahead and test the keyboard down here to see if everything works right <coughs> all my keys seem to be working just fine and we're gonna go ahead and click forward now this installation will erase everything on your computer so make sure you back up all your data from any previous um, installations let's say Windows or Mac OS make sure you back up your files like pictures images and such like that <coughs> because we are going to click on this option to erase and use the entire disk for this tutorial this is what we're gonna do there's other ways to install such as side by side like this one here we have a, a manually advanced version of it which I will show you how to use as well but for now I'm gonna go ahead and just do erase the entire disk again if you have not backed up your information I suggest you do before you continue <coughs> clicking forward will take us to the next screen next screen is basically setting up your first user your main user basically uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put username use something generic and you can of course name your laptop anything you want I'm gonna go ahead and name them Spiffy and down here we have three different options we have logging in automatically require my password to log in and require my password to log in and to decrypt my home folder the first option will log you in automatically though I have had myself some trouble with this I would not recommend using this 
um, because you would log in and then the network manager will still ask you for a password which makes no sense for now this is experimental and I wouldn't suggest using it but requiring my password I like this because I like my security I like my privacy I don't want people going into my computer when I'm not around so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this one and for those of you that are security buffs out there and are paranoid about everything you can require my password and encrypt the home folder so that if you're not logged in no one can read your home folder but I'm just a general person you know I just like my simplicity so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the middle option and just click forward alright this is all of the things we've just done uh, English for the language, USA for keyboards, kind of gives you an overview of everything we're doing here. Down here it gives you a little warning. Uh, this will destroy all that under partition. Um, again, make sure you back up everything. You don't want to lose everything. I'm going to tell you once again because I've had people that um, forget to back up or don't mind it and then they lose everything and then they complain and I said, look, that's what happens when you reinstall. Uh, then the next part is the partitions. This is a more advanced idea of it. This is basically going to be um, the partition editing we're going to have the first partition be extension 4 swap this is more advanced but you don't really need to know it and this is basically it and now we just click install now this installation pretty much took seven clicks and this part here is just a slideshow of what's going to come into Ubuntu what you will be experiencing I'm going to go ahead and skip this part to make this video shorter and I'll get back to you when the installation is done alright looks like it's about done it's only gonna take a little longer it's just gonna configure a few scripts here and there it's gonna hang on 100% for a little bit don't worry about that and next step is basically just rebooting and going into your newly installed system so you've basically just installed a whole you know operating system by yourself I mean it's not that hard it took seven clicks it's just a wonder why they don't make it this simple in Windows or the OS, the Mac OS. So, basically that's it. And we will be restarting right now. Thank you for coming and watching this video. I hope this helped you. Uh, this is a simple installation. I will be going through more thorough installations. And I hope you watch more of my videos. I'll be doing many videos, uh, including how to use your system, how to customize it, what applications you have, and so forth. Thank you for watching. My name is Chris, and I hope that you found this, in this informative. Bye.